How to do Canva photo and video editing for beginners 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be discussing and talking about Canva and how you can use this absolutely incredible platform to make yourself one of the greatest images and videos out there. And I'm going to teach you how you can edit them, how you can work more uh, in detail and in depth with them and just have a lot of fun with it okay it's going to be really great and it's going to be really easy and really simple and i'm going to be talking about it all to you in great depth so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end and learn all the information you can about canva and how you can use this amazing platform so without further ado let's just get straight into it okay so to start things off what we're going to do is obviously we're going to come over to canva.com okay now once you are in canva what you're going to be doing is you're going to basically start things off by coming over here and uh, basically choose if you want to make a photo or a video okay now let's say uh, we're going to do some photo editing. Now you can either create something totally by yourself, but obviously if we're talking photo editing, we're going to import a file, obviously. So let's go ahead and import, and then you're going to choose a file that you actually want to edit. Okay. So let's go ahead and choose a photo. I uh, have downloaded some, a few photos off of, you know, a online website. Okay. So let's say we have this picture over here. Okay. It's a picture of a BMW and we are going to edit it a bit. So you're going to click on use in a new design or add to a template. Okay. Now, obviously we're going to do none of that because we want to edit that photo. So you're going to go on the bottom left and click on edit. Now, once you do that, here you can see you get the edit photo option open. Now it's going to look somewhat like this. So obviously I'm going to skip the whole tour. Now it's a dedicated image editor. Okay. So obviously to get the full suite of designs, you're going to click on open this photo in a new design. And once you do that, it's going to open it over here. As you can see, looks pretty nice. I'm going to zoom it in a bit so we can see the details and everything. So this is the photo. Now to edit it, click on it and click on edit photo. And first of all, you have the main features like BG remover, which is your background remover. If you like only want the main focus to be on the car, you can remove the background and everything. Then you have the magic razor, magic edit, etc. Now you also have this stuff over here. Okay. These are filters so as you can see you can change the filters of this uh, photo and they're gonna look somewhat like this so as you can see they, they look pretty nice but obviously if we just wanted to add filters we would have just used it to instagram wouldn't we so let's go ahead and actually edit it so to start your editing you're gonna go over to adjust now first of all there's the auto adjust option now what auto adjust does is it sees like the color schemes and everything and uh, if it likes what it sees obviously it's gonna auto adjust it to whatever it wants so as you can see this is auto adjust and you can obviously increase the intensity of the auto adjust or decrease it if you want to i'm going to turn off auto adjust for now now first of all you get two options you're going to select area now it could be the whole image the foreground or the background first of all i'm going to show you the whole image then i'm going to show you the foreground then background so let's say here's the whole image you know you can uh, first of all choose the color scheme you want to go with do you want it to be warm or cold so usually a pick like this i'd keep it warm because you know there's like a full scale sky and there's a lot of trees so keep it warm give it a bit of a green tint so you know you get that miami wipe from it now once you do that you know looks pretty nice now what you're gonna do is we're gonna you know keep the brightness a bit on the low okay we don't want it to be too shiny because if we you know do that it kind of kills the whole mood of it so keep it a bit down contrast uh, i'll keep the contrast on the negative and you know highlight okay personally i recommend people to always keep Keep the highlights on the lowest but in this case i guess because we already sh showed down the brightness so keep the highlights on a low and keep the shadows at a mid range or a high range because highlights just ruin your photo they give like extra flares and i don't really like that shadows on the other hand they reveal the dark areas of your photo now, if you don't want to do that, don't do it, but I would recommend it personally. Then there's obviously the whites in your photos. So whites are basically, you know, again, the different flares. Now, if you can see, if I increase that, it's going to ruin the sky for me. And I really want that sky flare in the back. Then there's blacks. Obviously, blacks are the dark areas of your photo. If you decrease it, that's going to kill the contrast. Yeah, as you can see, the photos look smudged. So I'm going to keep it like that a bit in the positive, And that seems good. Then obviously comes the white rinse and stuff. This is to make your photo a bit more overpowered. Now, this is obviously, you know, 
a very black and white scheme but i'd recommend to keep the white rents on a high and then their saturation i take it on a low because we don't want it to be too you know orange we should do that i wouldn't mess with these things the sharpness and clarity and stuff so yeah as you can see this is my edited photo you know that's all you have to do now obviously that's how you're gonna edit the whole image okay now as you can see it looks like this right now if i reset the adjustments check the difference so look at that look at how much difference that actually made and personally yeah this looks pretty nice it looks like it would end up on like some instagram page or something and obviously you have stuff like uh, only the foreground okay your foreground is going to be your car maybe and let's say you want to make your car totally in color like fully red it out so uh, as you can see the foreground has been selected so there you can see the foreground is selected let's give our car the full you know red color suite to make it fully bright and stuff you know uh, the car should be properly revealing in the uh you know retrospect as you can see it looks shiny it almost looks like it's edited into the photo it looks like it's photoshopped but you get the whole point of it now there we go increase the shadows uh, i'm gonna increase the white you know make the car look like center of attention and uh, once we've done that now what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch over to the background and we're gonna make the background totally black and white you know we're gonna make it you know the background's totally relevant in this case now and we're gonna take the brightness down a bit and so as you can see this is how you can edit the photo in these ways and look at how great of a design it actually becomes obviously the car is a bit overpowering i get it but you get the whole point you get the whole gist of how the photo editing and video editing works now again to share this or to download this just click on share come over here choose the file type you want to download it in it could be png jpg whatever you want and then just click on download and your photo is good to go and again same with video editing the way you, we just edited a photo again import a video file or just choose a video you know landscape from here or just choose choose a video template from here and as you can see you can switch to video and it's just as editing your TikTok from you know any external device so uh i hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this please do tell me i am always available and i will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand and uh if you have any queries regarding this video you can let me know down in the comments uh and uh, yeah uh, i guess i'll see you next time uh before signing off uh please like and subscribe to the channel and uh leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.